Hey guys, welcome to another Atrocity World Live video, and um, we actually have some pretty fun stuff uh, going on, and um, it's we're actually having a, a draft tournament uh, at a uh, meta with uh, different alliances. <laughs> I actually didn't make the uh, I didn't make the tournament. I didn't sign up in time, so kind of missed this. But um, we do have uh, some footage from the other participants, and uh, this is how this tournament goes. So. There's how many dinos? I don't even know. A lot of dinos in the game. So, um, with all the dinos, list of every dino in the game, uh, eight people in a bracket. You know, just know your normal tournament brackets. I'll you know show you guys the brackets uh, in a bit. And uh, every player, you know, they're all seated one to eight, and then starting from one, one gets to pick a dino, any dino in the game, as long as they have it. And then, you know, the second player then picks, and then all to the eighth player, and then the eighth player picks again, and then all the way back to uh, number one. So they pick in like a snake, a snake kind of, you know, a, a, a format. And then um, until all eight dinos, uh, or, or uh, until a player has has picked eight dinos on their team, and then, you know, and then they battle. And no dinos can be picked twice. So, for example... Um, in our uh, draft, uh, Brian was the first seed, so after he picked Magna, no one can pick Magna anymore. So uh, Rebecca then chose to uh, uh, pick Earl Adam, and then, you know, you see how it goes here. So uh, today we have uh, the footage of the first round from uh, Prof. Source versus Global. That's the, supposed to be the last matchup uh, in, in the first round, but we're uh, seeing them first because, you know, they sent it in. Uh, first, and this should be interesting. I think we're looking at profs, uh, prof sources perspective. So um, there's that, I guess. So uh, looking at the dinos they drafted, uh, first round. I mean, there's you know a, a lot of this has to do with the tier list, obviously, you, you, especially the first pick. Like the other, the you know the second, third, fourth. You know the first few rounds. Obviously, you want higher tier dinos, but you know the. The the later rounds, fourth, fifth round, sixth, seventh, eighth, you know, you try to want to build a team around that or, you know, or to build a team that counters your opponent's uh, team. So that's what they're, they'll are they be doing there. And as you can see, Prof has a seventh seed and Dwebble has the eighth seed. So they didn't have a chance to pick any tyrants. Um, obviously, there's only five tyrants. So they went for the a high apex dinos. Uh, you see, uh, like e even number six, uh, one spark. When Spark went for uh, Monostegotops, Prof. Soros went for Pros Wrath of Mimus, and then Double took Indoraptor, which are all high apex. Um, looking at the drafts, uh, just between Prof. and Double, I think Prof. really has the edge just on the um, the dinos drafted, and um, you know, uh, if I were to bet between these two, I'd probably hedge my wages, uh, or I, I'd probably uh hedge my bets on um a prof more because you see pros wrath of Mimus that that could deal with Indoraptor really well tenontorex trostron can deal with uh giga spica obviously uh you know uh, tanny Calagris can deal with Indoraptor okay-ish alan kylos could deal with indominus just uh prof just has a lot of counterplay here um so uh going over his team real fast uh prof, prof drafted First round took uh, Prosrathomimus, and Double first round took Indoraptor. Second round, Prof took Tenontorex, and then Double took uh, Eutorenex, since, you know, after the first round, these two get to pick first uh, afterwards. So that's why they got really good drafts on the second round with Tenontorex and Eutorenex, really, really solid pickups there. And then round three, uh, Prof got Traustronix, while Dweb got Giga Spike. So this is kind of curious, so it's, you know, um, first round, Prof picks Prof for Athamim, his book double picks something that it kind of counters, and same for third round. I, they're probably not going for that. They're probably going, the first few rounds, they're just trying to grab all the really, really good dinos before they go away. And then they're probably working uh, with uh, Team Comps uh, later into the uh, picks. And then the fourth round, uh, double grabs Indominus first, and then Prof grabs Alan Kylos. And then uh, fifth round, Prof grabs Tiny Calagris and Double grabs Delta. Sixth round, uh, Prof grabs Sinoceratops, uh, Double uh, grabs Pegacephalosaurus. Seventh round, Prof grabs uh, Rajkylo and uh, Double takes Caprasuchus. 
And the last round, uh, Prof takes Smirgaia, well, uh, Double takes a Tarbosaur. So looking at these two teams, they're all pretty solid. Uh, Double has, you know, Indoraptor, Tarbosaur, big shield and stuff. Delta, Indoraptor, you know, Renex, all fast Dinos. Indominus for that factor, Caprasuchus for the swapping thing. And then Prof has all uh, his, you know, fast uh, Dinos with Titanic Lagris, Perosaur Athamimus. You know, Tenanto Rex, Triostronix, uh, Shield Breakers, Allen Kylos, that's a tank, Sound of Ceratops, and Ragikylo as well, Mirror Guy for lots of damage. So let's see how this goes. Okay. Um, after all that, <laughs> let's let us let us start the uh, the footage here. Alright, so okay, so this is Prof's um perspective. Since he's challenging double, it would be weird if double challenges himself. So that doesn't make too much sense. But uh yeah, uh, uh let's see how this one goes. All right, so they connected. That's that's a good start. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Didn't oh oh he he did get his the first two round picks so that's really really good. Uh, Prostrathamimus and Tenotorax both is uh, round one and round two drafts starting with Sinus Ceratops no problem there. It's basically the same uh, logic as starting with Stegosaur which is a really really great start. Tarbo, that's a decent dino to deal with the Sound of Ceratops, but Sound of Ceratops is just going to stun you for two rounds and then just take you out. So, oh, fortunately for Double, uh, that <laughs> sound actually didn't land. But unfortunately for Double, uh, Tarposaurus, 40% crit chance, didn't crit once, and he's going down. Poor thing. If only a crit once. RNG is not in Double's favor at all so far. Uh, although not too much in Prof's either, since Prof... <laughs> didn't land that stun. Um, Indominus Rex, is, does Double not have any uh, faster dinos? Because, oh, oh, but, you know, um, Sano had instant charge off. I forgot about that. So it didn't really matter. Uh, something bulky that could take a hit, which, and and a dino that doesn't uh, worry about taking hits, that would be Indominus Rex. Tenanta Rex, um, I'm not sure Double is aware of Prof having that Alan Kylos in the back. So if Dwebble uh, promptly uh, cloaks this around, which he doesn't, which is very sharp because he knows that the Prof has that Alan Kylos in the back. But unfortunately for him, RNG screws him over again. Tenothorax got the crit and took it out in one shot. So that's very, very unfortunate. So uh, this is a very a positive matchup for Prophosaurus, although Dwebble has a really good chance of winning this matchup as well. So Dwebble finally gets a decent RNG roll on his side, gets the dodge on the uh, Tenothorax. So let's see what Tenons are going to do here. I usually, honestly, I usually distract an impact first against Hinderaptor since, you know, they're they're going to, you know, uh, base of anyway. So I usually go distracting then superiority. Then that, you know, that just gets me an extra hit uh, for me. So, all right, the DSR comes in here. And boom, uh, Tenonto is out. Okay, Professor Athamimus, double is pro uh, basically forced to swap here. Um, Giga Spikasaur. That's not a really great matchup for uh, Prosorathomimus, actually. Uh, but, fortunately for Prof, uh, Prosorathomimus does have immune, so Gig Spikes or can't pin it down or slow it to take it out. So that's, a, you know, does have that going for him. And also, it's tracking Rampage now that it's up. Gig Spikes or is going to do, like, nothing to this thing. So uh, let's see the Rampage, and it does nothing! Like, even against Prosorathomimus, that has, like, five health? <laughs> Uh, it still basically didn't do much. All right, um, swapping this early. Okay, I could have taken another hit there, but you know, or or, or could he? I think he, yeah, yeah, he could have taken another hit, but you know, uh, swapping in Alan Ky a full health Alan Kylos into this situation without getting harmed because of swapping invincibility. That's obviously a really really good call here. Uh, let's see the the cell impact into the long invincibility. Uh, you know, Dole basically saw that one coming, so it does, it, you know, Giga Spike didn't have to use any other moves since no other move really makes sense here. Uh, the Rampage. Why did he go for the Rampage there? Maybe because he wants the speed to go to... Off. Huh? That was kind of weird. Okay. Oh, maybe he just wants to desell this turn and then Rampage. Then he has his short defense up again. Or maybe he's just given, he's just given up. Who knows? All right. Um, this is basically over. Like, double can what? Shield still? Does he have shield up or is it next turn? Yeah, shield. 
does have shield, so that could save him another turn there. Uh, Superiority Strike, Alan Kylos is going to gain the speed advantage back again, so that's not good for Dwebble at all. And uh, let's... Uh, the Rampage is not going to kill, you know, Giga Spikes, or if you don't have any armor piercing or defense shattering moves, Giga Spikes is not going to take a hit. It's not going to take a hit at all. Superior to Strike, that's obviously the, the better move there to go for Prophesaurus. And Decel again, but since Prophesaurus went for the Superior to Strike, uh, he still has the speed of matches there. A Rampage should take this thing out, since Alakos did get a bit of a damage buff, didn't it? Or am I misremembering? Or was, was, it, was it a... Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was okay. So, anyways, first round, uh, 1-0 to Prophesaurus. So, it's a best of five, by the way, I think. So, Prof only needs to win two more to take this, while uh, Double has to uh, <laughs> come back and win uh, three three more moves there. Not three moves, three more uh, rounds. And, you know, this thing, you know, at, at, it happens a lot, not like every time, but you know, usually after you finish a frame battle, you have to like kind of restart your game before uh, you can send or receive uh, a challenge to your friend that uh, that you just played with, uh, which is kind of um, it is really annoying. Hopefully, Ludia fixes that along with all the other you know friend aligned social tab bugs that have been going on. The thing, the 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 thing that makes the alliance tab go crazy is really bugging me out a lot. <laughs> So, there's that. Okay. Oh, looks, looks like he found Bubble again. So, probably going to go in for a second challenge there. Um, <laughs> and let's see how this one goes. Uh, I don't want to... I want Double to get sweep, though. Because uh, Double is a really good friend of mine. They're both really good friends uh, of mine. But uh, I, I would hate to get him get... Uh, to, to see him get 3 uh, owed So, yikes. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, let's see if double uh, accept this one. How much? Oh, this this whole recording is actually twenty one minutes, which makes sense since you know it really depends on oh all, all that stuff. So, but you know whatever. All right, uh, let's see if he's accepting this at all. All right, so it connected, and let's see how this goes. Aviary. All right, let's see Prof's hand this time. Mira Gaia, Alan Kylos, Prosorathomimus, and Tanya Calabrius. So he got his first round again, but did not get his second round pick. Dwebble opens with his second round pick, that uh, Uter Renex, which is a huge steal. Since he was the eighth seed, he gets to pick first on round two, which, you know, Uter Renex is almost a no-brainer in round two. Okay, Shield and Strike. Um, you know, Rex probably just gonna win this matchup here, which you know, is too much of an issue for both sides. Okay, he's gonna regenerate. Uh, let's see if Dwebble did go for the stun then. Goes for stun then, Mirror Guy's pretty much dead here. Caprasuchus for the slob and shield break. Ha, <laughs> that's some. Some next level stuff. Oh, swap in shattering strike. Take out the Mirror Gaia. And there it goes. No no regeneration for Mirror Gaia today. <laughs> oh my god. Off the top rope. <laughs> okay. Tangle Iris. That's actually not that great of a situation for uh, Caprasuchus. Uh, since, yes, he can throw Stress Impact on turn one. But the thing about Caprasuchus is Caprasuchus, like, the dif difference between Caprasuchus and Prasuchus is is um, Kaprasukas has a really, really good uh, turn two. But he used Cleansing Impact, so he's probably just going to swap out uh, after he does his job. So he could come back again later in the game to get another surprise kill. And obviously, Ferocious, Ferocious Impact takes out the Tank Calagris. So if I were Prof Source, I would anticipate a swap right now. And if I were Dwebel, I would swap in it next turn to take that Distracting Rampage and also do some... Uh, you know, swapping damage, which I'm pretty confident Double would do. And there it is. That's the play. Oh my goodness, this Caprasuchus is destroying Prof's team. <laughs> what was Capris What pick was Caprasuchus? Let me go back and check. That was Double's seventh round pick, and it's absolutely running through Prof's team right now. Oh my goodness. 
it basically took out three of his dinos. Basically, you know, made Prostrathmime is almost unusable there. All right, now here comes uh, Alan Kylos. This is going to be a <laughs> gnarly matchup, you know, two tanks fighting each other. Both don't have really good offense, but they could, you know, they could survive for a while and double. <laughs> Thank goodness, swaps into the Raptor, so we don't have to uh, stay here and endure all this stuff for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> two tanks fighting against each other, both at full health or, or almost full health. So, uh, thank you, Double, for not uh, boring us to death there. And it's it's not a bad move by any means. Defense Giant Rampage, as long as uh, Prop doesn't get like super lucky, gets two Superior Strikes and like <laughs> hits through evasive. Okay, so he didn't hit through evasive that time. So it looks like Double is going to take this one. Uh, you know, Prof can't really do too much here, unless he rampaged through evasive and, you know, but, uh, yeah, Double still has this Renex, and also the, um, the, what was his last dino again? I can't really, really remember. Uh, Renex and something. Oh, the Giga Spike. Alright, so, um, that, for some reason, that round just cut off. Uh, a bit early. I don't, I don't know what happened there, but um, anyways, uh, double one. That one is, is you know quite clear. It doesn't matter what Prof did here, swapped out or whatever. It would, you know, uh, it would have just lost there. So this hand, Pro Serato, Prof keeps on <laughs> grabbing his first round pick. Uh, Trash Ronics, I think is his uh, third round. Yep, his third round pick. Trash Ronics opens with Sino Ceratops. Deja Vu. We're starting Sino. Versus Tarbosaurus again. Let's see if Double could get a crit this time. Oh, he actually got a crit. <laughs> he got a crit. Well. At least he got it once. Which, low bar, but, you know. It's Jurassic World Live. Stuff happens. All right, let's see if the swap and stun hits. Pachycephalosaurus. Yes. He does land the stun there. So that's going to be a dead sign of... Ooh, no. Sign of up, so it's in charge. So it's not... It's almost dead. But, you know, you're, you're going to take a hit before Sino goes down. That's not how Sino rolls. Okay, instant charge. Ouch. But not really. Paggy has a decent amount, amount of health. And Sino's damage isn't that great. But Sino is going to go down this turn with Decelerating Impact. Uh, probably was using that just in case, uh, you, you know, uh, Prof swaps into anything. And uh, let's see how the next one goes. Tyrostronics, that's... Hmm... Oh... I was like, huh? Tyrostronics right now? That doesn't seem like a really good time for Tyrostronics to come out and shine, but this makes sense now. Uh, yes, he wanted to tank that Rampage and run with the Dino. Tarbosaurus, though, um, that's gonna be... Ooh, this is... Okay, now it's... Doubles turn to see. He's probably just gonna go for defense iron strike. Yep, since you know, uh, it was a high chance that Prof would set up shield. Let's see this round if they predict it right. Okay, go for, for rampage. Double's probably gonna go for defense iron strike again. Yes, he did. That's very unfortunate. Um, that was a 50 50 uh chance, and um, it was basically a coin toss, and Prof won that one. So let's see if he could stun again 66% chance. And it does not land, so Prof's going to put up that shield and Pachycephalosaurus. That's going to be two more turns of shield, and it has no way of taking out that shield. So it's just going to use Shielding Strike to take as little damage as possible with the Pachycephalosaurus. And that's obviously a good move on Double's part. All right, these two are r both really, really great battlers. Um, it's it's really nice to actually get this footage. So um, thank you for uh, them doing this, and also uh, Prof for uh, recording the video. Decel impact, so he gets to go first next turn, and gonna do a lot of damage to this Alan Kyle source. Uh, probably just gonna take it out here. Ramp injured run, and there goes the Alan Kylos. Double is up 2 0, oh, but with really, really low health dinos. <laughs> this is basically a uh, rip. Triostronics, yikes, this is really bad for double. So, this is probably just gonna be, tri be Triostronics taking out two dinos. Double's pro pro probably going to swap into a full health dino and then swap into Pachycephalosaurus to take that huge hit. So here it comes Indom, and then he's probably going to swap into 
uh, Pachycephalosaurus, so Prof wastes, wastes that rampage on Pachycephalosaurus. So we have to see if Prof goes for Ready to Crush here or Defense Shining Rampage. He was trying to swap, but he kind of ran out of time. So Double didn't uh, swap out here. So he's trying to have the Indom go for the Cloak Rampage to take out Indominus Rex for the last kill. Very unfortunate, Double gets hit through Cloak twice by Tristronix, and this is his last healthy Dino here, which uh, with the Ready to Crush plus, you know, a Rampage on the uh, Tristronix, that's not going to be too good for a Giga Spike Soar. Uh, you know, Prof went Ready to Crush, which also didn't trigger uh, Giga Spike Soar's counter, and that's a one-shot. <laughs> so that one Tristronix took out three of Dwebble's Dinos, two full health ones, one injured, a very injured one. That's very unfortunate for Dwebble. Um, got hit through Cloak twice by Tristronix. But uh, overall, that's a clean one for Prof Soros. Uh, in terms of stuns, Dwebble landed one, missed one with Pachycephalosaurus, so that's fine. So um, let's jump to their, what, what match? Third match? No, that was a third, fourth match. All right. So, uh... Let's see if Double can make a comeback. So Double's down. It's it's two to one so far. Uh, see if he can make a comeback in the next round, or is it just gonna go down uh, three to one? All right. So uh, we're moving on to the what fourth round is it? So uh, let's see what Prof draws. He does not drop his draws Prof Rathamimus right now. He has the highest pick for Prof is his uh, third round pick Trout Strong. So huh? Let's let's see how this one goes. This might be an opportunity for uh, for a comeback from Dwebble. Indom versus Stega, uh, not Stegosera, Sinosera. This is a huge advantage for Indominus Rex. Cloak Rampage takes this out and um, doesn't, it, 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 you know. Um, ooh. Swap into Miragaya. So that's, uh, Shielding Strike is going to stop the Indom from taking it out. So you know, uh, that's a really good move. He saved uh, his Sinoceratops and he hit through the Cloak with that. Let's see if the counter hits through cloak this time and or no never mind hit <laughs> the rampage went first forgot about that okay so um it is slower so probably yeah regen's not a bad but caprasuchus comes in and takes out mirror guy again this caprasuchus is like the mvp of the doubles team so far it's been doing better than his like higher round picks okay let's see how this one uh goes Tristronix out and that's going to be a bit troublesome for Double because Double just can't, uh, you know, just can't cleanse and then swap out now. You just have to go, you know, do as much damage on Trioshonix as possible because if he cleanses and swaps out, you know, Trio's going to hit whatever come, uh, whatever Dino is coming in with a huge fan shining rampage. That huge. And that uh, just takes out uh, Double's uh, Caprasuchus there. Although I wouldn't really mind it too much if the uh, Indom took that fan shining rampage, though, if far. Uh, double. Um, Giga Spike, I think that's a, a one shot on Tristronix, so it's okay. Swaps out in Roger Kyle, not going to take too much damage. Uh, with the okay HP and the armor there on Tristronix, armor pierce encounter that kind of takes, you know, obliterates uh, Giga Spike. Roger Kylo, for all the stuff that I say about it, um, it is a really good dino to battle tanks with. You know, it's hard to take out by the tanks, and the armor piercing uh, counter helps a lot in this situation. Alright, the speed doesn't help it though. <laughs> That's why the Raja is so much better than uh, Raj Kylo. Okay, Rampage, extended critical strike, the 80% um, chance of ferocious strike, That's what I like to call it, and the 20% on Prof's end. Did not get that crit there. Okay. Let's see how this one's gonna go. Uh, pin strike gonna pin uh, Giga Spica, so let's make sure it goes down with it. Although Giga's not gonna go down that easily, it does have a lot of health. But uh, even with the both crits, could not take out the Giga Spica sword. That's just how tanky this thing is. Uh, it, it Giga Spica sword does a lot of things, but its number one specialty is it could take hits. Especially from dinos that don't defend shatter slash armor pierce. Although, Roger Kylo does armor pierce, but it's kind of like a half one, so come on, it doesn't really count that much. Although, you know, 
still have to give it credit because it just took out a Spikasaur here, which is its specialty. It takes out tanks. All right, let's see what Dolo can pull off here. He's probably not going to throw an Indom. Indom's not going to do anything to Rajakilo here, uh, especially with Rajakilo still having its... Oh, does he have another swap in Dino? Or he's just, or, oh, he's just going to YOLO it. Ooh, did not get that crit. He's He was banking on the crit. Crit did not come through, and Prof takes this series. That's 3-1. to one. Prof wins the first round. It's going to advance to the second round and fight the winner between either the One Spark or uh, Mippin. Mipin? I never knew how to pronounce their name. But uh, that's going to be an interesting one. Hopefully, they get theirs uh, done soon, and we could see who Prof's going to fight in the second round. But anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The... Uh, the uh, MedHub uh, draft uh, tournament, uh, round one, Prof Source versus Dwebble. Prof Source takes this one, three to one. Quite exciting. Uh, I do like these a lot. Um, uh, unfortunately, I didn't uh, join in uh, myself, but hopefully uh, we could get another spot in there and I could you know, slip in there and have some fun. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like if you guys uh, did enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys are new and also subscribe to the Prof Source's channel, which he also has a YouTube channel and uploads stress for live videos. Not so regularly. Hopefully he does upload them more regularly. But uh, yeah, check out his channel as well. I'll leave it in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.